Hello, fifth grade stringers. It's Mr. Strobel again with my friends Mr. Jones and Ms. Kerr. Hey, guys. Today, let's focus on the largest instrument in the string family, the bass. Sometimes it's called the double bass, the stand-up bass, the contrabass, and the bass fiddle. No matter what it's called, it's all about that, that bass. <laughs> Just like you, the bass has a head, a neck, and a body, but there's different names for instrument parts, of course. The instrument's head is called the scroll, and it looks like a scroll that a wizard would use for their homework. The neck of the bass is called, drumroll please, the neck. <laughs> uh, just like all the instruments of the orchestra, it has four strings. From the lowest strings to the highest strings, it goes E, A, D, and G. Attached to the neck is a piece of ebony called the fingerboard. And following the fingerboard down, we'll find the bridge. It holds up the strings and transmits vibrations to the body of the instrument. And the body is really just a complicated wooden box that amplifies our sound, just like when you Cup your hands over your mouth. Then at the bottom of the bass, we find something that only cellos and basses have, the end pin. It helps raise the instrument up high enough to play comfortably and keeps it from slipping away, usually. The special thing about the bass is its versatility. No other string instrument in the orchestra gets to play in so many different styles of music. The bass can play classical, jazz, fiddle music, and rock. Here's an example of some jazz bass. Here's an example of some classical bass music. How about some bluegrass?
challenge to you this week is to come up with your own way to remember the names of the bass strings from low to high, E, A, D, and G. Could you name a food that starts with each letter? Eggs, anyone? And before we go, here's a basic joke that you can share with your family. Which musical instrument does Darth Vader play in the band? The Rebel Bass. Mr. Waka Strobel. waka waka. Thanks hey. for tuning in again, fifth grade stringers. We'll see you next week. <laughs>